Teffel Dude. He is the Teffel Dude. He is the Teffel Dude. Okay. Now let's have a look at the new notifications area, which I really dislike. I hate being reminded of things. So these icons here, I'd like to change the order. The Bluetooth, I don't need. I don't know why that's on. I'll turn it off. If you collapse, you can see these four. So let's choose the correct four to be there. Plus, let's turn these notifications off. If we go to System Display Notifications, and here, here is an interesting thing about the display that is new to this version, and it's why I love it. It's the night light. If you turn the night light setting on, it will, if you have a look at the night light settings, it basically makes your camera temperature. It takes away the blue light. The blue light is for daytime work. At night, if you work with the blue light on, you'll find it very hard to get to sleep. And so what this does is turn it down or get rid of the blue light so that you can work comfortably and you will sleep easily. This used to be a product of Flux. I think it's F.Lux. And you could get it from the website they're on. But I had a few problems with it when I was using the Flux on my Surface tablet. Didn't like it and would crash. But now Windows have got their own version, which is great. You can make it really uh, strangely pink. But generally about here is all you need. And it is really lovely to work with at night time. So I'll schedule that on for the hours of sunrise to sunset. But to turn the, I would need to turn, this is where you need to turn your location settings on. So here, I'm going to turn my location settings. It will know where I am and know what time is sleepy time. So I head back now and I can click scheduled night light on. Um, I can set the hours or let it do. Ah, so I click there and back again, and it's decided that sunset is quarter to nine and sunrise is six o'clock. And that's because it's summertime in Spain. Yippee! So let's go now. Turn on now. You can turn it on now if you if you wish to uh, ease the strain on your eyes. But I won't be doing that. So. Here is the notification settings where you can decide which one you want to move where. I prefer to have, I like to have the brightness here. Um, I like to have the settings here. I connect often to a, a laptop and um, maybe I would like the night light to be there uh, in case I want that to be on first. So I've got connect, night light, brightness, all settings. The other one's tablet mode. I don't need quick access to. Um, and Bluetooth, I don't need. I don't have. If you have a Bluetooth mouse, it can be handy. Uh, but generally, maybe uh, if you project a lot, that would be interesting. But the connect is good. Uh, if you connect to uh, your TV. So, and obviously you have the power sleep, when you, when you can choose when your computer goes to sleep. There's the battery uh, function and others. None of these really are important. Just the display, turn the night light on and the notifications. Here where you can turn them off. Get notifications from apps, no. Um, so it turns a lot of them off. Get tips and tricks, no thank you. Show me when Windows experiences after updates, uh, no. 
So get notifications from these senders. Notice since I clicked of this, then all these apps will stop sending me annoying things, particularly if you have your your email set to it. Uh, that would be on and it would keep bleeping. Oh, someone sent you an email. And in this day and age, we really need to uh, focus on our work and remove those kind of things. Have a set time when you get your emails. Don't let yourself be bothered by them. So now we can click outside of this and we'll just have, uh, I can clear these and hopefully we'll have a nice clear notifications app for a long time. If I wanted the night light on, it would come on automatic. So, um, let's have a look. Now, now the final thing is, is to put on those apps that you really need and you don't want to install individually one by one and they take time. And a great new um, function for that in order to get Firefox and Google Chrome and the video players, VLC player, which is a very important video player, is to go to ninite.com. So let's type that in here. Okay, so ninite.com, here we go. And as you can see, you can basically choose the programs you want and it will download them all in one folder so Chrome we want Opera might be a choice for the future as I hear they're going to give you a free VPN and imaging you've got GIMP if you want free I will, I will have these later for myself but just to to get going just to keep going for what most people would need it's Chrome Firefox you, you might need Skype. Um, the reader, I would go for Adobe Reader or Exchange, and I'll show you why in another video. Um, the BitTorrent, the zip is very important. It's a very good free zip file which you can email things with. Um, WinRAR, I'm not sure if you have to pay for that. Yes, it's a trial, so you'd have to pay. Uh, iTunes, no, that's the most annoying thing in the world. Uh, VLC player, yes. Um, maybe some codecs. I'm not sure we really need any codecs, but yeah, they might come in handy. Um, Handbrake is brilliant. It's a brilliant video editor for shrinking uh, massive files like a two gigabyte video into uh, 200 megabyte video and keeping the quality very very handy and I'll show that in another video so I'm going to download that for my friend um, other things not sure they're needed no uh, Java only if you're using a noodle of some sort um, shockwave air uh, I do like Flash Play. Not sure that one is that one. Essentially, Avast. These are protection ones. If you need some antivirus, very good. Avast is probably the best. But I haven't really used any. I've had Windows 10, and so long as you get, don't go on any dodgy websites or you've got some other way of protecting yourself, it's okay. Malware bytes are very useful, it's free. Uh, but I'd rather get that myself. I'm not sure if they'll give you, here they might give you the professional version when you want the free version. Now, all these things, Team Viewer is important, Image Burn is brilliant, uh, but for now I'm just going to look, find these things I want. So once you've collected it, get your Ninite. And you simply save, save this. And now I'm going to open the folder. So here's my Ninite, it's not very big. 
But let's see if it installs all the things that I want. Let's close that up. And run as admin. I always run as administrator. I can show details here, see what's happening. Okay, and there we have all the items installed. We can close that off. And we'll just click each one to make sure they're working. They should already be installed. Okay, cancel that, and this is how the free, it's free, totally free this, uh, and mainly used for MP4 players. So, but remember this area we had here before? I also like to take away these icons and put them onto the desktop. So a quick and easy way to do that would be just to right click each one, say pin to start. And then you can see that one is pinned to the start. So uh, VLC player, you just click on a, a film to open it. You don't really need that to be there. That can be moved. These two I like to leave on the taskbar. So we'll pin to taskbar. And we can remove them. This, we'll put that pin to start. Remove that. We don't need that. And we can just clean that. And here we have um, the new items, which you can name if I put internet and film editor. Okay, so you can. You can use lots of, uh, add lots of different files here for your use. So, first of all, I'm going to show you the two add-ons for each one. You need to add on um, a ad blocker and a free one. So let's do that first. Let's open uh, Microsoft. Use Microsoft as my default, always check. We'll say yes for now. Oh look, uh, Microsoft is unhappy because you're not using their rubbishy edge. So I'm gonna say let's use Firefox. Before you switch, try Microsoft Edge. No it isn't, it's rubbish and I hate it anyway, switch. Yay. So. First thing you do when you set up your Firefox is to uh, add the menu bar, very important, especially when you want to uh, show the downloads that you're downloading or um, clear the history, you can clear recent history, uh, details, last hour, everything. Always useful to have, so I could clear now and it will clear all my history. So good to have these tools at the top. Also, I like to have the bookmark tool. So if I go like, uh, if I go on YouTube, then I can add YouTube to my favorites. Click it here and decide uh, on the bookmark to put it on the toolbar. And when it's done, you can see here it is on the toolbar. So if I click again, I can just have easy access to that kind of thing. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on the hamburger and add the history to this bar here. Simply right click and move to toolbar. 
and there it is. So I don't have to keep going here. I can just say, okay, that's my history YouTube. Boom. What's this thing? Uh, save to pocket. You can play around that if you like. Show your bookmarks. It's fine. But I, I usually have them here. I like all my bookmarks here. So, a uh, few other things we can add. Uh, this shows the downloads. You've got the home page and the pocket, some weird thing. So let's go to the add-ons, which is what is important here. We want two add-ons. Or extensions. Some people call them extensions, sometimes add-ons. So let's go under extensions and type it in add block. And here you can see there's two of them add block for Firefox and add block plus. Um, I would just go for the Firefox because it might be, oh, well, let's click on more, let's see what they say. Um, uh, so they may be they're begging for some money, a contribution. So uh, let's not have this one. Let's click on this one. And this one is for free. So let's take that one. So we'll install the adblock for Firefox. And there it is. It appears there. And this helps with YouTubes and other such places where they, you, you're trying to stream some video and lots of ads come up. Well, this will get rid of a lot of them. Okay, so we'll say no, thank you very much. And the next add on is Hawks. Now, Hawks is a proxy it's a vpn and it will give you six hours per day free usage so you can watch the bbc or maybe netflix somewhere in america for six hours a day however it does not work for itv which is why we're going to look at google chrome for that so already we have the hawks and we'll set it up in english I'll put my email address in here just to show you it working. So I've signed in and as you can see I can choose a number of countries. I can choose the United Kingdom, which I just did. And I will add a website here, BBC. Let's see if I can get the BBC. BBC Player. Where's the BBC iPlayer? There it is. Let's go on here. And I'm going to add that to my favorites, to the toolbar, done. And there you can see. So now if I want to, I can just, uh, where's Doctor Who? That was good last week. Doctor Who, yay. It's just spinning. Now, if it doesn't work the first time, just refresh, because it will work. Um, I'll do it later. So here I am, sitting in Spain, watching Doctor Who. And remember the nice thing about... You don't know more about the Lion Legion than me. You don't. The nice thing about the iPlayer is that it does have the subtitles. For those of you that are uh, from a foreign country. I read everything. They disappeared. Except they didn't.
So there you can see, but for some reason it doesn't work for, um, it gives you six hours a day, but it doesn't work for ITV. I don't know why. I haven't tried the Netflix, but I'm sure it will work for uh, in America. So for ITV, we're going to use Google Chrome. Also, we need to add an ad blocker to Google Chrome. So let's get rid of this. Yes, close all tabs. And we're going to start the Google Chrome. Okay, Google Chrome. Let's have a look. Uh, bookmarks. I like to show the bookmarks bar. So you, you click on the hamburger, whatever you used to call it. Go to bookmarks, show the bookmarks bar. And uh, we'll place some things on that now. Okay, so now let's go to the hamburger and find how to add the extensions. Normally you'd go to the settings, but that doesn't seem to help. So we're going to more tools, extensions, and we'll click on that. Here are the extension they've given us, Google Docs, uh, which I don't like. I've got my own office availability. I don't need them. I don't need your Google Sheets or your Google Slides or your Google Docs offline. Um, but I do want some more extensions. What I would like is Adblock. And again, if you just look at the numbers, there's the plus 134,000, but the free one is double that. So let's add the free one. Okay, it's checking, and there it is. Okay, some more payments. Yes, thank you very much. Another one we want is Holla. Now, Holla used to be good, then it used to be bad. Some people have had a problem with it, but for me, it was fine. I use it to get ITV. So add Holla, the very first one. <clears throat> checking, checking, checking. Hmm. Could not install the package. Press reload. Let's try again. Okay, so this time it's worked. So be aware of that. If it, if it does crash, don't worry about it. Try and try again. Here you can see. It offers you many places you can go. One of the first places you can look at, let's say I click this off. One of the first places, and let's get rid of this again, and this. So imagine I want to watch the ITV. Let's click on here, itv.com. I can go to Holla and well, I'm going to turn it off for now. Imagine it, it's off. Okay. I'm going to try and sign in uh, and see what happens. See if, I, see if it knows that I'm not in England.
okay it's recognized me and I'll save that so I'm signed in now and let's see if I can watch ITV live Uh, it's only available to viewers in your also be aware that you may need flash player and I would advise you to download the Adobe flash player for many of these essentials but let's see what happens first so I'm gonna click on the VPN I'm gonna click off that at the moment <clears throat> where's my history uh, let's go to my history and I'm going to click on this uh, because I want to save it. Okay, edit bookmarks bar, yes, done. Okay, so now I'm on the bookmarks bar, that's good. So I'm going to go off. Sometimes you may need to clear your cache because they still think you're in England. So uh, they still think you're in Spain. So I'm going to turn it on and ask for ITV. Doesn't work for BBC? I don't know. I don't know why. So for some reason, it thinks uh, ITV.com is in the United States. So we'll just quickly fix that. Browsing from the UK. I'll say yes, I'm not sure, but I'll say yes for now. I can always go back here and complain. So let's see if I can watch the ITV.com this time. The, the ITV Hub. Hub. Come, Come on, on in. in. Oh, thank you very much. Okay. So now, as you can see, I can see the Portugal Mexico. Recover their rhythm. I can watch this. It's uh, on ITV, but for the moment, I'm just watching it. Oh, I think they're going to score. Oh, missed by my Hernandez used to play for United. Ah, now you know why we sold you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not fantastic enough. Here we go. I always knew he was an alien, aiming for the moon. Right, so that's your ITV. And you can just simply, uh, if you want to stop watching that, just make sure that you click off the holler. The good thing about the holler is it just uh, will let you watch as long as you want. Whereas on the BBC, you have the hawks, that would only let you watch six hours. But you also have to remember that if you have an Android phone or an Android tablet, you can watch um, Mobdrol, Mobdrol, and you can watch anything. Really. So that's that. Okay, so, so for now, uh we're turning that off everything's fine with the uh, google chrome we've got firefox we've got the setup started you've got your video players uh, view team viewer is just for those who uh, i use it to help people in other countries i can go onto their computer and help them fix their computer, take control of their computer. But also you can use it yourself. You can turn on your webcam at home and you can look at your house while you're at work. Very interesting. But you do need to leave your computer off. Okay, so that's the setup. 
just a reminder of what we've done with We've made Cortana smaller. We have added the folders we want on the quick access. We have deleted all the bloatware and stopped them from being live tiles. We've added these icons. We've also turned off a lot of the notifications and we've made these icons the way that we prefer. We have the night light activated, which is very good. And we've installed Google Chrome and Firefox as opposed to this thing, which I will now unpin from the taskbar. And so there's your basic setup. And also remember we have added these navigation uh, quick fixes so if you want to delete that you can just quickly do it um, and if you want to redefine how you look at the icons you just click on the quick fixes so and remember you can do live with it so that's basically windows 10 in a nutshell thank you for viewing uh, don't forget to click on the like click on the subscribe and we'll see you in future videos when there will be more more videos about the kind of thing that will make your life easier and quicker no matter how um, difficult you feel technology is becoming so i'm going to show you lots more things okay bye for now Dude, he is the devil. Dude, he is the devil.